In Dragon Ball Super Broly, Frieza revealed the new Dragon Ball wish he wants. He's eyeing up becoming 5 centimeters taller instead of immortality. And honestly, this artwork by Man Macho depicts Frieza being taller pretty well, considering Frieza didn't know what 5 minutes was either. <laughs> this video was suggested by Krixt, who asked what would happen if Frieza got his wish and became taller. Well, we'll be talking about that, but initially we're going to reveal why Frieza actually wants to be taller. So be sure to drop a like as it helps more fans see my content and also subscribe for a lot more videos. So Frieza wants to become 5cm taller so he would appear to still be growing. But he doesn't want to become any taller than 5cm more as he wanted the transition to look natural and not arouse suspicion. When Kikono asked why he just doesn't use his second form, Frieza replied he wanted his first and final form which is his birth form to be taller. These are the forms which are naturally quite short and the ones where he's learnt to control his power the best, which I covered in a video on all of Frieza's forms, so go check that out. Berry Blue noted that sometimes Frieza's soldiers were calling him a pipsqueak behind his back. These soldiers were obviously eliminated, but he wanted to stop this happening by growing in a natural way, because he's a massive narcissist. One thing Frieza could do to get around this though, is he could fully master his golden form. So there's absolutely near zero energy consumption and then just remain in that, because the golden form is actually slightly taller than his natural birth form. However, it may not be as much as 5 centimeters, but it makes you wonder why Frieza just didn't originally create it to be that much taller anyways. Well, what would happen then if Frieza got taller? Well, some might wonder whether Frieza would become suddenly stronger, but I don't really think this would happen. Yes, if Frieza wished to mature in years, trading his lifetime for all his latent potential like granola is done, then yes, that would make him extremely formidable, but not merely by increased height. If Frieza became taller, he may become more confident and ruthless, because it seems due to the amount he's sweating in these frames on screen that he struggles with low self-image due to his stature. He would also then be thinking about what next he could wish for with Dragon Balls. I don't think after becoming taller that Frieza would randomly challenge Goku though. Frieza knows he's lucky to be alive, and he's far more interested in conquering and proving himself nowadays rather than living to defeat Goku. They are rivals for sure in some ways, but Frieza is no simpleton, so maybe not much would change if Frieza got his wish. It would just help him to not get humiliated in his day to day work. There isn't much dialogue to suggest what would happen after he became taller to be honest, and I think the reason for this is because it's actually just meant to be a joke, and it's a throwback to the same wish that Commander Red of the Red Ribbon Army had, and also parallels Bulma's wishes of looking 5 years younger. But for me, the execution in the movie made it feel like a serious plot point. I'm not hating on it though, I think it's funny and a good gag, and it's also reiterated Frieza has insecurities too. But some may argue Frieza's new wish may seem out of character, and better jokes could have been made about him, such as he never wears clothes anymore, or he looks like Peppy the Frog. But I feel like Frieza in Super has shown less of the Napoleon complex stereotype, as he doesn't lose his temper and randomly rage with the same frequency as in Z in my opinion. But the joke is that Bulma and Frieza both want the Dragon Balls for totally petty and selfish reasons. They're both embarrassed by the level of narcissism they know they have. Bulma wants to look younger, but only by 5 years, so people don't accuse her of plastic surgery. Similarly, Frieza wants to become 5cm taller, so people can't pick on him and think that it's an unnatural transition. The audience is supposed to be hilariously scared of how absolutely petty they both are. Both wishes are just gags that complement each other. Also, you might ask, why doesn't Frieza want to wish for immortality anymore? Well, Frieza explained he realised living forever in a place like Earth's hell was absolute misery, so he knows that immortality would only bring him a soul-destroying prison sentence in the long run. The Galactic Patrol would have to seal him away someday, like Moro, and Frieza would loathe that with all his being, and he probably couldn't avoid it. Or just imagine he met a similar fate to on Earth when he got blown to pieces by Trunks, but since he doesn't have regeneration, he remains as pieces forever, as he couldn't be destroyed entirely. That's a painful existence, and no point. Frieza doesn't need to be immortal anyways to conquer everything. He has superior potential to Goku and Vegeta, and could probably overtake them if he tried. And plus, even Frieza likes a challenge and likes seeing how far his power can push opponents. That's why he says, that would make the game no fun to play. Last video's hashtag enders winner is... 
If it fits, it bakes. For your chance to win next time, comment hashtag enders down below. Thank you guys for watching, and if you want to learn in depth more about Freezer's forms, then click and watch this video up here next. Thanks, Kai Kai. Ow.